Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the gentleman from Ohio and the uh, gentleman from California and also uh, Mr. Gallagher for introducing this important statement in support of Croatia and Albania. Over the last 17 years, we have seen the bilateral relationship between Croatia and the United States grow to the point where today Croatia stands as a steady and reliable friend in Southeast Europe and the Balkans. Exemplified by President Bush's successful trip uh, there in April of this year, Croatia has become a true partner on a global scale. The U.S. and Croatia share joint efforts in the war against global terrorism, plurifer proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, and international organized crime, which represent the most dangerous threats to national and international security. As an active contributor to NATO-led operations in Afghanistan, Croatia has already demonstrated itself willing and capable of, to assume responsibilities of NATO membership and will pre prove to be an effective contributor to the collective defense and overall alliance mission. In total, Croatia currently participates in 17 international peacekeeping missions and is a current non-permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. As co-chair of the Croatian caucus, it has long been a goal of ours to see Croatia receive an invitation to join NATO. And I was pleased when the invitation to begin a session discussions came earlier this year. The government and the people of Croatia have worked very hard and NATO has taken notice of their political, social and military reforms. All Croatians and Croatian Americans deserve to feel true national pride in this accomplishment. I know that I speak for myself, my co-chair, Mr. Visklaski, and other members of the Croatian caucus when I say that we look forward to continuing to work with Croatia and their very capable embassy here in the United States on a variety of issues of mutual concern. This is truly a great accomplishment for the nation of Croatia. And it is very appropriate that as a Congress we stand together to honor the accomplishments of our friend and ally. I thank all the members who co-sponsored this resolution and helped to bring it to the floor and encourage my colleagues to join me today in honoring Croatia and Albania.